In today's video, we're going to be doing a side-by-side -side spec comparison between the Moto G7 Power and the Coolpad Legacy. We're going to put them side-by-side -side and see which one has the better specs. If this is your first time watching one of our videos, first of all, thank you for joining us. Second of all, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button down below and tap the little bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So these are two new phones to the uh, Metro by T-Mobile lineup. Um, definitely some uh, really nice specs for 2019, larger screen and um, some new software. So let's jump in and see which one really uh, is the better of the two. All right, guys, we always start with software and they're both gonna have a, a pretty new version of Android, Android 9 Pie. In terms of the screen, you are getting a slightly larger screen with the Coolpad Legacy at 6.36 inches uh, FHD plus display. So you are slightly getting a little bit more screen real estate with that Coolpad. Camera wise, you're also getting a slightly better camera on the cool pad you're actually getting a dual rear camera 16 megapixel and 5 with a 13 megapixel front camera which is extremely impressive and definitely not something you see too often so uh, although the g7 power is still pretty impressive 12 megapixel rear 8 megapixel front hard to deny 13 megapixel front camera on that cool pad legacy in terms of the internal memory, uh, it's going to pretty much be a wash here. They're both going to have 32 gigs of internal with 21 gigs available for the user. And obviously they're both expandable with the micro SD card. In terms of battery, this is where the Moto G7 power shines. Uh, 5,000 milliamp battery where Coolpad has a 4,000 milliamp battery. 4,000 is pretty darn impressive. I don't want to discount that, but obviously 5,000 is just insane and uh i think uh moto says you can get two solid days without charging on the g7 so uh definitely a reason to consider this phone if you're someone who uses your phone a lot processor and ram is going to be the same 1.8 gigahertz octa-core processor with three gigs of ram on both in terms of the weight this is also where the cool pad legacy will slightly have the advantage um, that large battery on the G7, although it is awesome in terms of use, you will pay a little bit in the weight. 6.91 ounces for the G7, whereas uh, Coolpad Legacy is almost one ounce lighter at 5.99, so they do take it for that category. When it comes to extra features, um, the G7 um, is the better of the two. Now they both tie in terms of security. They both have fingerprint scanner, facial recognition. They have their own version of fast charging. Coolpad Legacy has Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0. Moto G7 has turbo power, which is slightly better. 15 minutes of, of charge time will get you nine hours of use, which is insane. They also have what are called Moto Gestures and Moto Actions. And basically they're built in cool gestures you can do with the phone like, there's a way you can shake it to get the flashlight to turn on. Um, there's a way to uh, move it as well so that the front camera flips to the rear. And there's all kind of cool things you can program it to do. So it's a unique feature to Moto phones. It's definitely worth pointing out in the extra features section. So Moto does take it for that category. So you're looking at two of uh, probably two really awesome phones of 2019 just came out very recent software is up to date specs have definitely been upgraded and uh, they're two really good phones to choose from so hopefully this spec comparison helps you make your decision leave us a comment down below of which one you would pick of the two and if you've already bought we'd love to hear that too thanks again for watching guys make sure you like the video if it was helpful and you learned something hit that favorite button and share it if you know someone that it could benefit hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber and also on the next screen you're going to see a little green circle if you click on that it'll take you to our other site tech made easy we're trying to build our following over there so take a look at the videos that we have and if you feel inclined subscribe over there too thanks again for watching guys take care and as always have a good one